Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this really cute strawberry lemonade themed uh, gel nail. So let's get to it. Okay, so first let's add our base coat. Cap your edge and care. Okay, so now I'm going to use my gel color, which is a sheer white gel. Okay, now I'm adding a second layer of sheer white. Now cure. The second layer is now cured. So I'm going to put this aside for now. I'm going to get my palette and getting clear gel because I will be diluting a little bit of some of this pink gel here. So grab any kind of mixing gel that you have or clear gel, whichever one you like. Just something that you use to to sheer out colors or to do your glitter mixes or anything like that. So I'm going to put a little bit here, not too much because it is one nail only. <laughs> and I'm grabbing my pink, this is Presto 78. Now you don't want too much gel because you only want a sheer color so I'm going to mix this. pretty sheer. Now I'm gonna grab, remove this, grab a little bit of this gel, not so much. I'm trying to grab with the corner of my brush because we're gonna make a small blushing effect. So right in the middle of the nail, place the color and just do gentle strokes. And you want to extend it out. Remember, it's only a splash of color that we're doing for the blushing effect. Grab a little more if you'd like. I'm only using the corner of my brush. making sure I'm spreading that color, spreading it thin, because we don't want to add too much volume to the nail. This is just a hint of color. Okay, so now I'm gonna cure this. Okay, now let's do our second layer, right in the middle, using the corner of my brush. I'm just stretching the color out, spreading it thin. Think of it as a stain, a very, very sheer stain. Okay, this is my second layer. All right, now I'm gonna do an additional layer. Starting right in the middle. Right now I had to I had to go back to the palette and kind of take a little bit of gel off my brush because it's a little too much. Remember you don't want to add too much gel because we we want to avoid adding too much volume or thickness, height to the nail. Alright, now I'm gonna cure it. Starting right in the middle. Like a little dot, I don't know if you guys can see that, and just 
spread it out and with this layer don't go all the way out kind of stick more to the center that way it looks more like a gradient okay. now you can see that it looks super sheer the pink it's barely there so for my last layer, I'm just going to grab with my, the corner of my brush just a tiny bit of the pink gel. This is going to be the last step. You don't need that much, just barely even a smidge on the corner of the brush. So you want to grab a little bit and right in the middle of the pink, you want to place it there and just kind of blend it out but don't blend it out too much. You want a lot of the pink to be right in the center. Okay, so this is what I'll be adding. This is some glitter. It's kind of like, um, I don't even know if there's a proper name for this type of glitter, but it's kind of like little little sugar sticks. I like to call them little sugar sticks because they're just little, they're shaped like little rectangles or little strips of glitter. I don't know how to describe it. Okay, and now we have some female cane. I wanted to go for a strawberry lemonade herbal type of tea. That kind of look. So I have a strawberry, two slices of lemon, and last piece that I have here, or pieces, are little tiny leaves. I'm also going to be adding some little beads made out of gel and I'm going to be using two colors, Presto 89 and Presto 145. So for this I'm going to use a mold and I'm just going to be using the back side of it, the flat smooth surface so I can paint my little beads on there. Starting with this one, I'm going to use a small liner brush like this. I'm going to put it in the gel and swirling it around trying to get a nice amount of gel onto my brush. Okay. Trying to get a nice round bead. So I'm just rolling the brush between my fingers. I'm going to place it onto the back of the mold swirling it around keep swirling swirling making sure that you have a nice cute little bead on there so I'm gonna cure this okay once that's cured I'm going to add my second bead and I'm gonna make this one a little smaller Swirling it around. Making sure that you have a nice amount of gel and it will level out into a small bead. Okay, I'm going to cure this. I'm going to get a little bit of clear sculpture gel just to adhere these pieces. Using a little brush with some sculpture gel, I'm just going to add a little bit of that sculpture gel here in the center because this is where I will be placing all of the nail art. Okay, do not cure yet. So I'm going to add these pieces randomly throughout the nail. I'm going to place a little bit of glitter in the center for a really cute look. I'm going to add
So I'm looking at the design right now and I feel like only two pieces of fruit should be on here because they're already kind of big. So I'm just, I'm fixing this around a little bit. Move the little pieces if you need to. Get it exactly how you want. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to cure. Okay, now I'm going to grab a little bit of more sculpture gel. And using my small brush, just going to put up here for the little bead. And another one down here. Don't want to overwhelm the middle of the nail. I'm just going to scrape this off. I actually didn't even need to scrape it off. It came off really easily. And I'm going to put this one here. Right where I put my sculpting gel. Okay. I'm going to cure them. Now I'm going to encapsulate with my Tati oval brush. I'm going to grab a nice amount of sculptor gel. I'm sorry, sculpting gel. And I'm going to encapsulate. This is only my first layer of sculpting gel, but I might need more. This is only the first layer though. So try to get into the little open spaces, any little gaps that you see. I'm going to add a little more. Not as much as the first layer. Now I'm going to wipe off the tacky layer with alcohol. And as you can see, if I move the nail at this angle, you can see that a little bit of the nail art, the leaves, and the female canes are kind of pointing out. So what you can do is you can grab a buffer like this one and you can buff the sharp edges of the nail art. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And try to get a feel for it and smooth it out. So stop every once in a while to check to see if it's uh, smooth enough. So once you get the achieved uh, smoothness, you can go ahead and wipe off the dust. And now I'm going to top it off with regular top coat. Okay, now I'm going to add some top coat. This is going to be my last layer. Okay, the top coat is now cured. I'm going to wipe this off. Wipe off the tacky layer with alcohol. And this is the finished product. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section. And subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my other social media platforms. I also have Twitter, Instagram to keep up with the latest designs. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!